The Disney Accelerator program has announced that they are investing in blockchain and Web3 and crypto related projects. And if you want to understand what these projects are and what that means for cryptocurrency, that's what we'll cover in this video. Because a lot of big companies like Disney are entering the blockchain world because it's another source of revenue for them with their existing large audience. Now just looking at what they're trying to build, like Flickplay in World Lockerverse Obsessed, Polygon Red 6, this could potentially be a Disney metaverse. So I am going to make some conclusions of what that could be, what that means for crypto, but none of this is financial advice. This is just my opinion about what Disney is doing in the blockchain world and what their potential metaverse might look like. First, we need to understand what is the Disney Accelerator program. And if you know about Y Combinator and how they make startups uh, into billion dollar companies, the Disney Accelerator program is doing something very similar. The Disney Accelerator provides participating companies with investment capital, access to co-working space at Disney's creative campus, and mentor support and guidance from top Disney executives, entrepreneurs, investors, and other notable business leaders from the entertainment and technology communities. And with Disney's connections and capital, and how they could be integrated into their own products and services, that could create a lot of successful projects. Now the most notable company on their list is Polygon. If you're familiar with crypto, you very likely know what that is. But if you don't know what that is, Polygon allows for Ethereum Ethereum scaling and infrastructure development. Now that is very technical, but if you're familiar with Ethereum and smart contracts and decentralized applications, Matic makes it possible for you to use those Ethereum dApps at a much lower cost and with transactions that are much faster. Now there are a lot of different competitors to Matic. They are a layer two solution to Ethereum. They work with Ethereum and make Ethereum applications faster. Now Polygon is probably the leader in this space, so we have to look at some data. The daily amount of Ethereum transactions have slowed slowly risen over the past few years. And you can see that the transactions kind of hover around 1 to 1.5 million daily transactions. And if we take a look at Polygon, they do at least 2 million transactions daily. Now there is a decline in the network usage just because it is the bear market. People are less involved in crypto during a bear market. But the data is very significant because people don't want to transact on Ethereum. They want to use Polygon because it's much cheaper and faster. So taking a look at the active Polygon addresses, you can see there is a decline in active addresses and the network transaction fees have been pretty stable. And if we are looking at this from an investment point of view, not financial advice, we need to see more daily transactions, more active users, the amount of transaction fees accumulated from more and more transactions is very, very positive for Polygon. And hypothetically, if a big Disney metaverse project is built on Polygon, where millions of transactions happen daily, that could be very big for Polygon. And this video was sponsored by Kaiba Corp. No, that can't be right. Uh, Kyber Network. This video was sponsored by Kyber Network. So here's the problem. When you're trading on DeFi, there are a lot of different decentralized exchanges and the price for the coin you're trading might be different depending on that exchange due to liquidity issues. Now Kyber Network works with all the big decentralized exchanges so you can always get the best rate. Now with Kyber Network, they integrate all the major crypto exchanges and a lot of different networks so you always get the best rate on your trade. So if you're trying to get the best value when trading on DeFi, you got to check out Kyber Network. Now let's put on our conspiracy theory mindset for a moment and think about a Disney metaverse and what that would involve. And if we look at the Disney accelerator businesses that are being invested in or at least onboarded, it starts to make a lot of sense. So Flickplay is a Web3 social app that enables users to discover NFTs tied to real world locations that they can experience and share via AR, augmented reality. We'll get into that in a little bit. InWorld allows users to create interactive AI driven characters for immersive experiences. Lockerverse is a Web3 platform that empowers creators and brands to tell culture defining stories and deliver unique access and experiences. Obsess is an experimental e-commerce platform 
platform that enables brands to create immersive 3D virtual stores on their websites and on metaverse platforms. Polygon is a scalable blockchain network that allows developers and enterprises to build Web3 experiences. Red6 is an AR company that has created a patented headset and interface that works outdoors in dynamic, high performance environments. So if we put all of that together, Disney could potentially be building this metaverse or augmented reality when you're in their parks or stores that allows you to have interactive and immersive experiences. Now let's break this down one by one and look into each company and what that means. So the first company on that list is Flickplay. They are a Web3 social app where people can unlock NFTs in the real world and create videos with them in augmented reality. They do have Flicky NFTs for sale. I am not endorsing this and I am not an owner of any of these. And they have an actual NFT social app. I haven't actually jumped into that. You can also earn Flick coins. Now these coins aren't actually tradable on any marketplaces, at least to my knowledge, but you can earn Flick coins by playing the chameleon game that appears on the Flickplay video feed and to actually get them you have to hunt and capture flick coins around you through the flick map so you see these you see coins you earn it and i guess they are trying to create this uh engaging nft social uh, community where you use their products and you share it and they also have blue coins open the flick map you'll see the blue coins around you tap on a surrounding blue coin which will direct you to its location once you are near enough it will trigger the camera to open and you will be able to capture the blue coin once the blue coin is captured it will unlock either an nft or a flick that will automatically go into your wallet forever and if it goes into your wallet forever that could potentially be a sold bound token. That means only you can earn it and you can't trade it or send it to someone else, which kind of gives you a unique decentralized identity because you are now associated with this and maybe you need to collect more to access special perks. Then we have InWorld. InWorld allows users to create interactive AI driven characters for immersive experiences. This is their official Twitter. And then this is the official website. This is the InWorld origin teaser. And since these are AI immersive experiences, you can communicate with these characters and they will use AI technology to give an appropriate response. And you can see that they are working with the Oculus, so they are creating these augmented reality and virtual reality worlds and metaverse platforms. The third one, Lockerverse, a Web3 platform that empowers creators and brands to tell culture-defining stories and deliver unique access and experiences. I couldn't find that. I couldn't find their website, uh, any of their social media. There's a lot of other locker NFT things out there, and I couldn't really confirm which one was the appropriate one. So we're gonna have to skip that one. Number four, Obsess. Obsess is an experiential e-commerce platform that enables brands to create immersive 3D virtual stores on their websites and metaverse platforms. So potentially Disney could be using this to upsell things in their marketplaces, in their parks, and in their virtual worlds, their metaverses, their online stores, wherever it may be, where you can experience some products before actually owning them virtually. Then we have Polygon. We went over that earlier because all of this has to be built on one blockchain and potentially in the future it could be compatible with other blockchains but it all has to start on one platform and all of these companies can come together and build on Polygon to make their metaverse slash Disney ecosystem potentially, hypothetically. I'm just saying, I'm not saying they're actually going to do that but it would make a lot of sense if they did. Red6 is an AR company that has created a patented headset and interface that works with outdoors in dynamic, high-performance environments. So potentially, Disney could be creating these augmented reality experiences that could happen in the Disneyland theme parks or in the Disneyland metaverses, where you actually have to be in the Disney ecosystem to be able to experience it. Now, those were the six companies in the Disney Accelerator program. Let me know in the comments what you think. If this video was helpful, feel free to hit that like button, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter. And with that, I hope you got your full value for today.